Hey, what's up, YouTube? I wanted to show you guys my Feeding Frenzy Cutter Mask by Death Studios. I got this guy last summer. I believe it was somewhere around August. I picked this guy up from eBay. He was like around 25 through 30 bucks. I bought it from a collector from the Death Studios fan, fan base Facebook page. If you guys know uh, Dust Series Collectors, I got it from a collector from there. Yeah, I got it from a... It was a pretty good deal. I'm extremely happy uh, with the purchase itself. It's in awesome condition, too. And if you guys haven't noticed, this guy is not wearable. This is a display copy. This mask is not meant to be worn. It's strictly meant to be used as a prop. Or a display mask and normally I'm against buying masks that you cannot wear I just believe that most masks should be worn but since this guy was $25 $30 I could not pass this up whatsoever I always like the mask too I've been admiring it for a long time now I've seen this guy for a good number of years I'm super glad he's part of my collection. But yeah, I want to apologize also for taking a long time to review these masks. I get these masks you know, in a certain period of time, and then it, it takes like a while for me to review them, and I want to apologize for that. But at least at least the wait's over, and you guys probably seen this guy already. But yeah, it's a really really awesome mask. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I believe this mask, I think Jeff Def was inspired by uh, Dave or David from Lost Boys, because it, it really reminds me of him. He got this similar hairstyle. But yeah, since this is the Feeding Frenzy version, he's got blood around the mouth. He's got some dust. I should probably clean it. But yeah, the original, it doesn't have any blood around the mouth, but I think it looks cooler with blood around the mouth. But yeah, this is my second Feeding Frenzy mask. You guys remember that one right there? Yeah, that's another Feeding Frenzy mask I got. But yeah, this guy's really, really cool. I'm going to do a complete 360 so you guys can get a pretty good view of the entire mask. He's got this long blonde white hair. You guys can see in the back, 1996 Death Studios. He's got some pointy ears. And also uh, the hairline on where the glue or the spirit gum or whatever has been applied. It has yellowed already. So you can tell that this mask is pretty old. pointy ear right there too also he has a a cut in his eye I'm not sure that's why they call him cutter but that is there there's his other eye right there with some gloss And the bib size is pretty good too. It's not too big or not too short, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys.